find most of your ingredients and what ingredients do you find yourself reusing a lot? Um, like I love, well, so grocery store wise, mm-hmm. love Sprouts, love Trader Joe's. And I will say love Whole Foods, something like Whole Foods, whole paycheck. Like, <laughs> yes, it's expensive. Um, but, but I am shocked sometimes because I think sometimes vegan foods are cheaper at like a Whole Foods, a Sprouts versus like a Ralph's, a Kroger. Um, that's something I notice all the time is like sometimes these like vegan products are just cheaper at Whole Foods than Ralph's because I guess, I don't know, maybe more, maybe more people go. Another thing I notice is when I go out of town, Mm -hmm. food is way more, like vegan food is way more expensive back in St. Louis than it is here. Um, so that's like another thing that separates me from perhaps a normal vegan in the middle of America who's trying to eat more plant-based. Right. Um, Because it's in LA, more people are vegan probably. Yeah. So it's less of like a novelty. Well, they don't have it anymore, but like this meal goes, a meal goes block of butter, which is my favorite vegan butter. It was $3.99 at Trader Joe's. Mm -hmm. Um, But then when I go back to St. Louis, it's like, I've seen it to be like seven fifty, oh. um, and it's like I would I I I walk around the aisles and I'm like I would never buy that like I would n- never pay for that. But meanwhile, I'm like standing next to my family and they're like, oh my gosh, that costs that much, right? Um, yeah. So it's so I think that's another end of like other people get a perception that isn't necessarily true. Yeah. Or. Well, I guess it is true because it does cost seven fifty for them. There. I know, yeah, um, for them, yeah. And so I yeah. wonder. I mean, you know, also you're talking about these grocery stores. Like again, like if you go to, if you don't go the vegan route of buying the expensive sort of vegan branded things, um, but you just eat vegan, you can go to like Ralph's or Smart and Final or co- like you know these. Um, grocery stores that are more that are less expensive uh and just not get the like hip (laughs) vegan stuff yeah yeah sure um another big thing is sales i am such a sale fiend um whenever they're like literally the other day i just i was coming back from a restaurant and i there was like a whole foods in the same shopping center so i just like walked into whole foods went straight to the plant-based section looked for the sale tags didn't see anything I wanted, and then I left. Um, it's like, uh, frankly, a, a hobby of mine <laughs> is going to grocery stores and buying things on sale. Um, but something I've been doing now for the past two years is Miyoko's, that brand I was talking about. Um, every year now, at the end of the year, in like the first couple of days of January, I've noticed they do like a 40%, like a 35% off Whoa. sale um, of all of their products at Whole Foods. Um and so I've been stocking up and freezing them. I still have ones from last year um, that, that yeah, so that's another thing is buying things on sale and stocking up. Interesting. Um, I've definitely saved a lot of money that way. 